Hey everybody, What's it's up? Mitch and Eddie. We're doing Eddie Munster. Eddie Munster. Not Eddie. Eddie Munster. Just Eddie Munster. That's right. Today we're uh, we're on Man versus Dog Food Live. Man versus Dog Food Live. We've got a couple of fun things uh, to do. We're going to have a little contest to see who can guess uh, which food we're being served by our wonderful uh, customer service person, man. Executive Vice President. Executive Vice President. Service, Kent. Kent. I don't want to get his last name. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, uh, we want to tell you first, we have a special going on right now. We have a fireworks bundle. Sorry, I didn't tell you. Fireworks bundle? Yeah. I have a dog scared of fireworks. Okay. Well, I do too. So uh, we're having a bundle. We've got elk venison toppers, beef meatballs, beef patties. And with that, you get a free bottle of CBD. Can I say that? Oops. Yeah, CBD Oops. oil. I just did it. And it's bacon flavored. Does anybody like free? Guys, this is it's a $59 value you're getting for free. $59. Wow. Well, we're just giving it away. $59.99. Giving it away Makes for sense. free. Makes sense. Well, Makes great sense. you know what? My dog's afraid of uh, fireworks. It's coming up. She's afraid of thunder. And it's just a good thing to do right now. Yeah. I agree. So I have a dog right here. What? We got a special yeah, guest. We have a special guest. Roxy. Look at that. Hi. That so, is Roxy. Roxy, this is the dog that went through a window oh. uh, a few years ago. Head first through a window. She's 12. So you can see she's kind of getting a little bit of color. Uh, she is getting a little gray. Roxy, put your head up. We'll lower the table for Oh, that's good. Bit. So. Roxy's been eating nothing but Munster her whole life. She's 12 years old. She turns 13 in October. She went through a window, and uh, one of the only ways we were able to get her to not go through windows again was CBD oil. Uh, we tried all sorts of calming treats, uh, everything that we could try, and this stuff is what did the trick for her. Roxy. She dropped the kibble, and she is looking for it. Roxy. What's for this? So what we like to do when we give Roxy bacon fat is we put a little bit on a meatball. So we take one and we tear it like this. We take the teacher, which we do have lab results for all this and we will share that with you as well. And you can just drop the CBD oil on there. Roxy, here you go. She's pretty gentle too. I don't have to worry about her biting my finger, which is kind of nice. That's a soft mouth. And what you want to do is you want to start doing it ahead of the 4th of July. Um, probably about a week ahead of time because what the, the way CBD oil works is it it's a anti-inflammatory and it starts to um, affects the nerves over time and so the more you do it more often you do it uh, the less inflamed the nerves will be which means on the fourth of July when those fireworks are going crazy their nerves aren't going to be picking up all that stimulus and so the way a nerve works we lost Roxy we lost our co-host um, so maybe we can turn Roxy cam off for a minute all right just for a minute but the way uh the way it typically works is when you have a nerve let's say the nerve is like this big right here actually I have a better example let's say this is a nerve well when it's not inflamed it looks something like this right so it's only going to pick up about as much stimulus as what can touch this when it's inflamed it looks something like this Ooh. so now you're catching uh, basically nerve your your nerves are catching signals from all these different areas which means it can catch about six seven eight nine ten times the stimulus is typical right as what is normal and so by taking something that aids with inflammation and reduces that it's not going to pick up nearly as much inflammation which leads to less of a reaction which leads to roxy not going through a window which is ideal for everybody involved uh, we used quite a bit of carpet cleaner that day yeah i can yeah. imagine and uh, I had roxy a question. Had cuts what's up so does our uh our CBD doesn't have any of that uh, that THC stuff in it, does no, it? No, it is THC free, one hundred percent. So awesome. it comes from non-GMO uh, organic hemp plants, and it awesome. is CO two extracted. So we're not using a bunch of uh, diesel and gasoline, whatever the other stuff. Uh, there's there's some cheap ways to do it, and then there's the right way to do it. And so ours is done the right way, um, <laughs> and we do have awesome. lab results on uh, on all of the products. So. Let's see if Roxy wants to join us again. There she is. She has all kinds of, uh, she's enjoying lots of snacks today. Kent is our, uh, 
is our guest handler today, and he is uh, doing a job keeping her engaged. <laughs> Kent, there he is. That's the man. The man with the plan. So we're going to talk about a few things today, Eddie. What is first? Hey, uh, you know what? We got this contest going. So, Kent, do you have some some things for Mitch and I to try? So throughout the show, we're going to try. Kent's going to try to surprise us, and we're going to guess what food he's serving us. And the person at the end who has the most is the winner. And maybe we can give away something for people if you win, and if we give away something different if I win or something. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think absolutely. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, so we're going to do, you know what? We got the dog in the chair. Why don't we do the dog first? All right, skip to the dog. So one of the things we talk about all the time is quantity over quality. Oh, Can you grab those, Eddie? I'll grab that. And how a lot of times uh, you have uh, dog food manufacturers try to take shortcuts. And how do you take a shortcut? You put cheaper ingredients in it. And what happens is by putting cheaper ingredients in it like this, you get a lot more volume. So it fills the bag more. So you look like you're getting all this extra food. When in reality, the same amount of calories is in this exact jar right here. And that's what happens when you use more meat. That's a crazy. good comparison we have right here. So uh, Kent got us a uh, Twinkie and some bread and a meatball. And this little chunk of meatball right here weighs the same is those giant chunks of white bread and Twinkies, which is essentially the equivalent of what we're what we're talking about with the food over here. Right. And one of the so, things you know, the difference between ours and and everyone else's is, is um, it's protein. It's not it's not a lot of carbs. We like to have the carb low carbs. Yeah, fewer carbs are better. And so um, dogs are meant to eat meat. In fact, when you offer them the choice between meat and bread, they will often choose no surprise meat. So Roxy's going to do a little demonstration for us. Roxy, you want to treat? You want to treat? So we're going to put down some giant chunks of poison. So this bread poison. And we're going to give an option of also a Twinkie. And so Roxy can have whatever she wants. Oh, can't see her. Can't see her. Can't see her. Mm. Roxy eats everything. What do you think, Roxy? Hmm. You have any more? Uh, um, you have more bread. We do have more bread. I think the camera angle was not great there. Yeah. So Obviously, what's the problem with that? I need a new dog. I mean, the thing is, you're right. Um, you meatball kit? At the end of the day, they'll choose. You know, the whatever's meat, in front of them. But. Also, whatever's in front of them, right? So we've got two now here. Smell that? Nope. Smell that? Nope. Nope. See, she will take whatever you put in front of her. That's the problem with uh, relying on a dog to tell you what they like and don't like is they don't have a voice. They can't tell you. They're just going to eat what's in front of them because uh, dogs are trained to to be a survival animal and uh, you know, they hunt. And the problem is if you're a dog in the wild, you don't always get something. It doesn't always happen. Uh, it looks like she found something over here. Um, so a dog will eat whatever you give them. And so what we have to do is make good choices for the dog and we have to give them the right options because if I give her this piece of bread right here, she'll eat it. She doesn't know any better. Now, it's also going to cause inflammation and could make her sick if we do too much of that. So we want to make good choices. I'm going to give her meatballs. And so when you give her two choices and she knows what they are, she knows what they are. Oh, she doesn't ever get bread. So here's the other thing. You have to know. If a dog doesn't ever get anything different, first time you give it something new, it's going to be pretty excited about it. Mm. So, hey, that kind of speaks to the uh, My Custom Dog Food. My custom dog food, yes, right? exactly. The fact that um, the fact that um, they're used to eating the kibble, which See, ours is fantastic, but it's you're eating the same thing over and over, and now you put something new on it, like a topper or salmon oil or bacon fat, and it's like, oh my god, this is the greatest stuff ever. Yes, right, and and it's good to change it up, and it also the salmon oil, the bacon fat. 
good for their codes, good for their joints, you know, all that. Yes. So um, I think I'm ready for a little competition myself. All right. Roxy, thank you. It's good Roxy, you. you're the best. So what do we got going on here? So Kent, what are we, what are we doing? Oh. Uh-oh. Clean up on aisle four. <laughs> I know a guy. So okay. do you know what this is? I do. What line are we choosing out of? Grain free. We're choosing out of the grain free line? Oh, that's che I mean, they, you already gave him a, an answer, though. Oh. are all grain free except one. Hmm. One's an ancient grain. And I'm currently battling a sinus infection, not COVID. <clears throat> so smell is not necessarily there. I have a guess. Are we eating the same thing or different things? Same thing. All right. We're both eating the same things. So, ready? You say what you have and I'll say what I have. I'm going to go one, two, three, and you say yours and I'll say mine. Oh, you ate it for 30 days. Come on. It's been a while. Let's go. Okay. People are dying. All right. Ready to go. One, two, three. Grain duck. duck. I'm guessing duck. Was it duck? We both guessed duck. Yep. Oh, that was a chicken and turkey. Chicken and turkey. Chicken and turkey. Well, it was delightful. Oh, man. What else we got, Kent? Well, by process of elimination. All right, we'll do one more, and then we'll talk about some other stuff. Is there anything else we have to talk about? Of course, there always is. Um, so the uh, we have the bundles uh, for the free CBD. If you're not interested in the bundles, the CBD is also available just by itself for $59.99. That's but, true. Um, I don't know. I think you're crazy if you don't get the bundle and get something for free. But hey, we're eating dog food. What do we know about crazy? Hmm. Well, hey, do you want some water? A little bit. One, two, three, duck. Duck. You're correct. All right, we got one. One for. Two. Now, comparatively speaking, I can see it's yeah. stronger. Yeah, the the duck's got a stronger taste, um, probably due to the fact that duck is also, you know, kind of a red meat, and so it's got a little bit more of a, a stronger flavor. It's not as light as what the chicken and turkey is, and so you know, I think your dog may have may agree. Maybe we should do a duck special. Oh, maybe a quack quack. I like that because we both got it right. Yeah. Let's do a duck. Quack, quack. All right, we got to get that coupon code made, so it may take a second. Yeah, we'll um, get that after the show. After the show. All right, what's next, Kent? Hey, while you're doing that, have you heard from your brother? We're doing Thank You Thursday today? You know, I have not heard from Chad. I believe I sent him an invite. Um, I know we looked for him. Tell him to check his... Um, So if everyone doesn't know what Thank You Thursday is, we normally pick a winner, uh, someone that has ordered from us. And we do actually have uh, another winner that we need to pick. And we can do that on here. We asked for people to share our trailer, the dog food trailer video. And we said we would pick someone that shared that to, to shower some reward points on. I think we said we we're going to do 1,000 reward points so we can check that out here in a minute. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm sure they would love that. Absolutely. So, um, what we want to do now is do another taste test. We've got another oh. sample of food. Um, looks super tasty. I feel like I could guess without even tasting this one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why is that? Because um, of the color. Yeah? Okay, ready? One, two, 
Three. Wait. What were you supposed to say? Oh. No. Supposed to eat them. Oh. Well, I know what that one is. Ready? One, two, three. Rabbit. Rabbit. You're right. Nailed it. Nailed it. Um, hey, what's have we ever had hit? a tie? No, we haven't. Okay. I have always lost, actually. I think you won last week. Something. Hey, do we need to give? Uh, can we give points away? I think people come onto this show to give some points away. I think so. What do we got to do to have people try to guess something? Uh, hey, can we talk horse feed? Bobby wants to talk horse feed. What's your question, Bobby? What is your question? We can probably help you. Oh, look at that. Chad is on a run. Chad's on a run. Come live off the streets of Monster. Tell him yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We can pick for him. Who wants to see Chad out and about in his natural habitat? Chad. I do. Yes. <laughs> and I am setting That's up nice. a, a coupon code right now for the duck. So Chad's out running on the streets of Munster. So Munster is a real place in Texas. Yep. Um, it is where the plant is. It's where Munster is. Munster is in Munster. And um, Chad's out there running, so he's going to join us here in a little bit. And maybe he'll give you a little tour of the town. Maybe or, so. I don't know where he's running or what he's running from. Bobby Churchill would like some Optimize. Bobby, where do you live? Because we have Optimize everywhere. You can actually order it online and we can ship it to you and get it to you within probably two or three days, depending where you are. I know a couple people that can help you. I do too. Kent Barnes. Yep, Kent. Facebook Messenger. Absolutely. And uh, we've got, looks like we've got Allie. Allie. Uh, Allie is right here running the Facebook chat for us. Where are you located? Allie is uh, kind of the queen of making things happen. She's also um, the queen of horse stuff. And horse stuff. Absolutely. So we're going to do a coupon code for duck. All and right. I'm thinking maybe we need some feedback on that. Oh, yeah. Bobby lives in Buffalo. Yeah, Buffalo. You can, or you can get that easy. Easy, easy. Um, uh, Bill... Ask for my Malanoia's loving his new food, ancient grains and chicken with bacon flavor and beef. Oh, there you go. Show it to everybody. Show it to the world. So we need to know how much of a discount we should give on duck. What kind of percentage discount would get people excited? Yeah. Is it 10%? Is it 20%? 30%? 40%? Oh, boy. Chad, I think we need your audio, buddy. How about that? You got me now? How about that? Hey, we had a question for you. Let me get one on. Go now. for it. We are. Don't mind me. I'm out here looking for duck and buffalo and all kinds of wild stuff to throw in the dog food. Oh, nice. Well, we're trying to figure out a few things. Um, okay. One of those is we've got a, uh, a coupon code for duck that we'd like to give out called Quack Quack. Quack Quack. Okay. We want to know what percentage off we should give. Well, if you really give a quack, it should probably be 50% off, right? We do Whoa. give a quack. So 50% off, you heard it there. The big man goes big. What has go big or go home, Eddie. I guess so, man. <laughs> Chad, what has been the number one customization added to the duck? What do you see people adding on the on the My Custom Dog Food as you're, as you're back there mixing it? Uh, on the duck, we see a lot of salmon oil go on that. Uh, I oil. think a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people like that om extra omega threes from the salmon oil. Okay. Well, there you have it. Duck, fifty percent off. You can have salmon oil. Where is that? Oh, hey, hey, that that were, there went the UPS truck. I was trying to catch it, throw one more bag on it, but I ain't quick enough. <laughs> it does not look like you're in a town right now. Where are you? I, I'm walking around Munster right now. Well, show us Munster. What are we looking at? Well. All right, hang on just a second. Let me see. Well, I can't really switch the camera around, but we got Furman Hall there behind us. And uh, that's where we hold German Fest. And on the other <laughs> side of the road, 
we've got uh, back over behind my behind my right shoulder. Is that fresh beef going to the free trade? Actually, that's a couple of horses that probably are living good on Milestone. There we go, <laughs> on the optimized. Yeah, I mean they're they're moving probably forty five miles an hour on the road. Well, maybe we can see how Chad how fast Chad could sprint to Furman Hall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, does anybody want to see Chad run through the parking lot? Man, I don't I don't know if I can keep up. I can't well, have a conversation. Uh, well, um, you know, I don't know if you know it, but it's thank you Thursday. It is thank you Thursday. So uh I don't have my thank you Thursday right in front of me. Well, I can pull um, kind of a list of customers that have ordered. Okay. And you can say when to stop, and we'll have it pointed to the screen here. Okay. Stop, we could stop. So why don't we look at that? Uh, the coupon code, by the way, quack quack is live, and you get 50% off a bag of grain free duck. That's quack quack. Uh, yeah, just straight quack quack gives you 50% off. Awesome. And let's look at some customers here that have ordered. Hey, you know, I think what we should give away on the uh, on a thank you Thursday. What's that? We should we should do our fireworks special for thank you Thursday. A free uh, a free fireworks bundle. So beef meatballs, a elk copper, a CBD oil, and what am I missing? Beef patties. Beef patties. There you go. So, okay, so we're going to give away a fireworks bundle for our Thank You Thursday, and that goes to an auto ship customer. Yes, sir. Because uh, uh, we want to make sure our auto ship customers are taken care of, too. You know, you get 5% every time. You get reward points now, uh, all kinds of good things. But um, we want to make sure that you know that we appreciate you guys, and this is kind of a, uh, what do we want to call it, a Thank You Surprise type program. So, Chad? I am moving the mouse up and down right now, and you say when, and I will stop and pull up a name. Okay. As uh, as the old farmer used to say, when? Okay. <laughs> so we have uh, Samantha from Anderson, Indiana, and she orders the chicken and pork dog food with beef collagen protein booster, which is another oh, fancy, look at that! Another fancy word for bone broth. Uh, she That's gets right. that every three weeks. And Chad, we just uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but we doubled the amount of bone broth we were eating in it last week or two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago we uh, we upped the bone broth and the bacon fat, um, and a little bit more on the salmon oil as well. And a little so bit we, more oil. So everything's yeah. getting more on the customization side. Yep. Yep, we're working on providing a better uh, a better blend and a better mix for you guys. Wonderful. So uh, congratulations, Samantha. Chad has picked you as a winner. You may not be watching, but you are a winner in our book. Um, Everybody's like a winner when they feed Munster. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's getting a little warm in Texas, huh? It's it's a little warm. Just, just a tad bit. No. Do I look a little, little parched? Uh, just a little bit parched. Um <laughs> So I think we've got a fireworks special that we've just given away there. Yep. And then, um, I've got a, a fun question for Chad. Uh, it's hotter than the 4th of July right now. Okay. I was a little bit worried about where you're headed with that. But <laughs> we're glad to keep you in. It's family friendly. Family friendly. Yep. Um, well, what was so your question? My question for Chad, because I did have a question, because I, I said I had one, Come right? Come on, Eddie. I threw him off. I know. <laughs> We're going to see if you can identify this kibble. Ah. Identify that kibble, huh? We did a taste test. Um, and we're going to see if you can guess which one it is. Okay. Yep. So, Kent, fill this bowl up real quick for us. If Chad gets it right, I feel like we should give another fireworks on the way to somebody. What do you think, Chad? Oh, man. Sure, why not? Everybody needs a little spirit these days. Yeah, so uh, we're going to show you the kibble, and you're going to guess what it is. And if you can get it, give a fire. Who should be? 
If oh. I can guess it, what? We're going to give it away to the first person that can respond in the comments with the name of Chad. So if you, have, if you have followed Chad at all on Facebook and seen any of his stories, you can know what all his names are, right? Should. And right. we may give some hints away. But Chad, what is this book to looks like the is that a grain free oh it is a grain free um do what you're hot all over it i I guess i'm gonna call it the rabbit grain free okay so so it's a little windy where you are uh i call it the the rabbit grain free you got it Nailed it. Nailed it. So the first person to uh, to guess Chad's dog's name now is the winner. So Krista says duck. Chad has no, that's not the name of his dog. Chad has two dogs. Oh, you have to guess one of them. <clears throat> one of them is named after a flower, one of them is named after a famous actor. So one's a girl and one's a boy? One is a girl, one's a boy. Okay. One wears a skirt, and the other one hunts. Okay. I say actor, like, his name wasn't that, but they called Kelly him. says Daisy. Wow. Very first person to Are you kidding life. me? Daisy is correct. So, Kelly wins. Kelly, look at you. <laughs> well, that was a fun game. Kelly, you ruined it for everybody by getting it right so quickly. Hey, there's another dog out there, right? That's only, only one. That's only one. We do we want to give another bundle away? Sharing is caring. I okay. Why not? You got so, two dogs. So Kelly got it right. Uh, we got another dog. I believe it even starts with the same letter. By the way, Daisy is really pumped about this fireworks special. The neighbors have been shooting fireworks off, and uh, the CBD oils worked wonders. Wow. Good. So, who can guess the other dog, Chad? Uh, there's an airport name here, remember? All right. Just uh, outside Los Angeles. Uh, famous. Hey, you know what? Da Daisy was an actor on the show. She was. Oh. Let's not, let's not get into that show. That'd be way too obvious. Oh, okay. Billy says Denzel. Not Denzel, but that's a great guess. Is there an airport after Denzel? That, but there's one named after Dick Wayne, who's also known as. Uh, Don't. Worry. I don't see. Him. Here, man, younger. Uh, the Blue Devils. What team? Is that? <laughs> Man, you are giving it away. Can anybody repeat the comment that is right here <laughs> for a free fireworks bundle? The first person to type the words D U K E win. Oh, I got to get on. Not all at once. It looks like we're losing Chad. All right, bye, Chad. Krista says go. Oh. Well, Bill, Bill, Bill says Duke. Bill wins. Let it go. Bill is paying attention. Okay, so we need to get Bill Anthony a uh, free fireworks. I think your people must have been a little something comments in there because that's what? <laughs> it's in Terry, Jennifer, and uh, no, actually. Bill again. So, all right. Well, I think on episode five. That's episode five. Do we have one more try? For what? Which one we have here? One more taste. Well, I think we already know. Just what it depends. Is. Yeah, yeah, we do. All right, let's try. Just try it. Sure. We'll just try it. All right, first you one know to guess. First one to guess. Junior Port. Junior Port. Okay. 
we had something really funny. Chad, we're gonna drop you off because we got a lot of background noise. So okay. We're gonna get you out of here. Thanks for coming on. All right. Yep. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Right. So we have a pretty funny story. Um, Kent has a story he'd like to tell us. So Kent. Here, buddy, take my chair. It's good. I got it. Kent's right, going to take over here as co-host with Eddie. <clears throat> Kent answers it's, lots of phone calls. It's the two handsomely bearded person. I just pinched his fingers. I'm sorry about that. So I called, I'm calling people today and I called Brenda in Iowa and she was telling me how much she loves our food. I get that all the time. And uh, she was telling me how much her dog has uh, decided that uh, she loves the food so much that before she got on the food, her dog's poop was so smelly that it could clear an acre of land. <laughs> and that since she started the ancient grain ocean fish, that is all gone. So thank you. You are kidding me. So you're welcome. And uh, we will we'll continue to make food that helps gas. We're sorry you're going to have to clear your own land now. But so we're doing our part to uh, to help the environment by not having all that methane out there, right? Is that yes. how that works? Yes. So us and cows. So thank you, Brenda from Iowa, for the great story about your dog. So Kent calls all of our new customers, uh, you know, First time you order, he reaches out and he's trying to call all these people and he's trying to make sure that everything is right and, uh, and good and see how I like the food, see how the dog's doing. So these are the types of conversations that he has. A lot of conversations. <laughs> and thank you. We love those stories. That's great. Keep them coming. Absolutely. All right. Well, I think that's the end of this episode. Uh, we lost our, our our main guy here, but that's all right. We're we're older and wiser here. Um, Much older. So be sure and check in uh, check out next week. Uh, don't forget we've got the the fireworks uh, bundle going on with the free CBD when you buy that bundle, or you can just if you want buy a bottle of CBD oil. Um, that's it. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next week. Buy more monster. <laughs>